Hello friend. Today I am going to show you how to create an email scraper using the Spidey app for Android. App link will be in the description. Before I do anything, I am going to save the script. Then I am going to drag and drop a set variable block to store the Google search URL. Drop a text block for the URL, and I am going to type the Google search URL without the query, because the query will be dynamic. I am using the append text to variable block to append the query string to the URL. I will prompt the user to give a query string. Drop a go to website block to navigate to the Google search result. Save and run the script to see if it's working. I am going to create a variable to store all the Google result links. The get attribute from all block will return a list of attributes from given elements. I am using the get elements by selector to get all links from the page. It expects a CSS selector. I am going to use the inspector to find a unique selector for the Google search result links. Click the record button to inspect an element. Then long press on an element to see the tag name and the attributes. I am going to switch to an anchor tag, because that what I am looking for to find the links. I see a ping attribute that might be unique to the search result links, so I am going to use that for my selector. Use the for each loop to loop through each links. Then I am going to use the debug block to print all links to the debug console. Let's save and run to see if it is working. It's working, but I see some Google links that's not the search result. To skip those Google links, I am going to use the if block. Then I am going to check if the link contains google.com. If it does not contain google.com, then we will use that link. Let's print to the debug console to see if it is working. Now we can use the go to website block to navigate to each links. I am going to use another for each loop to loop through an email list. I am going to use the regular expression block to find all emails from the web page. This returns a text array which we can loop through. I found this email matching regular expression from the internet. To get the page source, use the get page sources text. Print to debug console and see if it's working. I use the username and ims a lot on the internet. Let's see if I left any emails public.
I definitely left my email public. The good news is the script is working. I am going to store those emails as string then I am going to write it to a file. The execution has been finished, the file is written to the download directory. Let's go and check the file. I see the regular expression is not perfect, but it did the job. Is your email public on the internet? Use the Spidey app to find out.